Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here, and today I want to talk about the world of light in Super Smash Bros. Because I really don't want to be negative about this game, but world of light just sucked. I'm sorry. I didn't like it at all. I was excited for it when I saw it in the direct and playing it. Oh my gosh. It was honestly the most tedious thing I've ever done. And I also want to start this off by saying that there's going to be a bajillion spoilers in this most likely. And I also want to start off by saying that there is a challenge on the challenge wall to beat the last part of the game without getting KO'd. I actually did that <laughs> and I'm very proud of that. But to get back to the main topic of this video, I really did not like the adventure mode. What's interesting is I think that the spirit board is pretty cool and I like the spirits in general. I'm someone that doesn't mind that trophies are gone. I think the spirits are cool, but the adventure mode was just terrible. It was extremely tedious, extremely tedious. I don't know why they thought having that many different objectives would be fun. And that's just it. You would think that having a ton of content would always be good. This is one time where, honestly, I don't think so. And I think it has to do with the fact that if there was a spirit of a character that you loved, it was kind of cool to see how they interpreted it in the challenge. Because it'd be like, with a certain character, it's like, oh, this one's windy because in their games they had this. And, oh, they're stronger because in this game they had that. So it was kind of cool to see that. But again, that was only for characters that you knew. There were a ton of characters where I had no idea where they were from. I had no idea why any of the things were set up the way they were. And even some of the characters that I love, I actually didn't know why they had the challenge set up the way that they did. And then when it came to the challenges, they were either way too easy or way too hard. And they were just so annoying. The craziest one that I did, in my opinion, was the 9 volt one. Where there was that old school retro yellow assist trophy that just shot like the pixels they were <laughs> it was a really old school looking character so it was just like shooting yellow pixels at you that was so stupid i was getting so frustrated doing that one and that's where i just don't understand like it really was either extremely easy or extremely hard to me there was no middle ground most of the challenges that i did i just held a smash attack literally just ran up held a smash attack and just waited because there's a skill that you can get where you can actually just hold smash attacks as long as you want I would actually just do that and I would just hold it forever. They'd come up to me, I'd hit them, they die, go to the next spirit. And what's really crazy is that whenever I play a game, I'm always hoping that there's like a new game plus thing. I can't believe World of Light actually has that. I can't. It's one mode where like every time a new area opened, I was like, damn it. Like I thought I was almost done. And it's a weird feeling because again, like you would think more content is always better. But I just feel like the content that was there was just extremely tedious. And I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. I've had a lot of people tell me on my streams or just in general that World of Light is very repetitive. And it really just is. And it's just a shame because seeing those cutscenes, it was incredible. And I wish they could have just tied that in better. I think that they could have made World of Light really cool if they just didn't have the spirit element the way that they had it. I think the spirit board is cool because it's this little side thing you can do. You want to collect some spirits, you do some challenges, you get some spirits. For adventure mode to have essentially that same thing except just have them plotted all over a world map, I think it just made it boring. I think if they made it a little bit more like subspace emissary, I think it would have just been more fun. I think it should have just been an adventure mode that was all tied in and didn't have that big map of just basically doing the spirit board. Because like I said, the spirit board's fun because you can dive in whenever you want and just collect a couple spirits and just be done. Adventure mode, that's what it was. It was just like a gigantic spirit board. So I don't know. I really didn't enjoy it and I'm very glad that I'm done. The last challenge thing I need to get for it is getting all the skills in the skill tree, which will be really easy. So <laughs> I'll never have to look at that mode again. But I don't know. I just want to give my opinion on it because I was someone that was really excited for it and I ended up just not liking it at all. So let me know in the comment section down below and if you agree with me or if you really did enjoy World of Light. I'm actually really curious to know. But that's all I have to say about this. So if you enjoyed this and want to support my content, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.